The long-running debate between Snapdragon and Exynos is back again, and this time it's about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S26 series. For months, leaks and rumors have suggested that Samsung might finally give more importance to its in-house Exynos 2600 chip. Some reports even claimed that the Galaxy S26 Ultra could be powered by Exynos in certain markets. But now, Qualcomm has stepped in and officially revealed how things will actually go for the S26 lineup. According to Qualcomm, round 75% of all Galaxy S26 units will use its Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 application processor. This statement came straight from Qualcomm's recent earnings call, where the company discussed its partnership with Samsung. Qualcomm explained that while it used to expect about 50% of the processor orders for Samsung's flagship Galaxy S series, that percentage has now increased to 75%. For the Galaxy S25 series, Qualcomm supplied 100% of the chips due to Samsung's earlier production challenges last year. Samsung's foundry faced issues with the 3 nanometer production process. These yield problems meant there weren't enough Exynos 2500 chips available for the Galaxy S25 lineup, forcing Samsung to rely entirely on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite processors. This decision reportedly cost Samsung around for $100 million more than expected, as it had to purchase additional Snapdragon chips to meet global demand, but this time, things seem different. Samsung Foundry has improved significantly, achieving much better yields with its new 2 nanometer gate taller ANGA process. The Exynos 2600 is built using this advanced technology, which surrounds the channel on all four sides of the transistor. This design helps prevent current leaks, boosts performance, and increases energy efficiency. If everything goes as planned, the Galaxy S26 models powered by Exynos 2600 could become the first smartphones in the world to feature a 2 nanometer CHIPSET. Reports suggest that the Exynos 2600's performance comes close to. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip. This is a major step forward for Samsung's in-house silicon division. In fact, some early benchmarks and leaks have hinted that the Exynos 2600 might even outperform Apple's A19 Pro chip by up to six times in handling AI tasks. This would mark a huge achievement for Samsung's semiconductor division, showing just how much progress it has made in the past year despite these improvements. Qualcomm remains confident that its Snapdragon chips will continue to dominate most of the Galaxy S26 lineup. The company believes its partnership with Samsung has now reached a stable baseline, where Snapdragon will power roughly three out of every four flagship Galaxy units. The main question now is which specific models will get which chip. Based on previous trends, it's likely that regions like North America, China, and Japan will receive the Snapdragon variants, while markets such as Europe, India, and parts of Asia might see the Exynos 2600 models. However, these plans can still change before the official launch. Depending on Samsung's internal testing and production results, Samsung's decision to continue using both chips also reflects its strategy to balance innovation with reliability. By producing its own processors, Samsung strengthens its control over hardware and software integration. But at the same time, it continues to rely on Qualcomm for consistent performance. Especially in markets where Snapdragon's reputation is stronger, the Exynos 2600's rival, powered by Samsung's advanced to nanometers GAA node, represents a big comeback for the company's chip division. After the issues with the Exynos 2200 and 2500, Samsung is clearly working hard to rebuild trust in its processors. The use of GAA technology, which improves power efficiency and reduces heat generation, could help close the gap between Exynos and Snapdragon once and for all for users. This means the upcoming Galaxy S26 series could deliver impressive performance regardless of the chip inside. Both Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 and Exynos 2600 are expected to offer advanced AI capabilities, faster connectivity, and better energy efficiency compared to previous models. In the end, Qualcomm's announcement gives a clear picture. While Samsung's Exynos division is rapidly improving, Qualcomm's Snapdragon still holds the upper hand, at least for now, with 75% of the Galaxy S26 units expected to use Snapdragon chips. Qualcomm continues to play a major role in shaping Samsung's flagship experience. The Galaxy S26 lineup is expected to be unveiled early next year, possibly in January or February 2026. Until then, the debate between Snapdragon and Exynos is sure to continue. But one thing is certain, competition between these two chipmakers is only making the Galaxy S series stronger, faster, and more efficient than ever before.